Hello, this is Anfalo signing in once again for another edition of Zblog. And this uh, this week, uh, um, uh, uh, um, it's very uh, important week because uh, the UN is having this General Assembly, and one of the items in the UN will be um, uh, the bid for Palestinian statehood. Now Mahmoud Abbas will present the, the bid on Friday and it's the same day that uh, it's the same day that uh, uh, Prime Minister Abraham Netanyahu will be speaking to the UN uh, um, no, on behalf of Israel, Lord. So, uh, many things going on, but it it will be particularly very, very troubling um, for Israel if this things goes through, because um, um, if it goes through, and they do vote on a um, pa Palestinian statehood, the most likely outcome. Is that that uh, as a as a as a prerequisite of a state, they will they will need to define their borders and and the uh, the borders that most likely they're gonna ask is the 1967 the pre 1967 lines, which are um we are the lines that were uh. Came in the ceasefire when the 1948 um, war ended. Now these lines um, um, excluded um, um, the Judea Samara, what we know as the West Bank, the Golan Heights, and uh, East. Um, uh, East Jerusalem, where or the the old city of Jerusalem. So, if the if uh, the Palestinians get their bid and and push for oh, um, their full demands, then that means uh, Israel will have to withdraw from oh, the whole West Bank, and that's going to be very very trouble because there's a lot of people in the West Bank over in the Judea Samaria and uh, not to mention the Golan Heights because um, Heights is a uh, very strategic military strategic is a high point and um, uh, when Syria was um, um, had control of the Golan Heights that would shoot uh, rockets from because it's like on top of the basin it's from from that top onto a valley so the Jordan Valley so it's very strategic point and uh, um, and the most troubling is uh, of the, the pre-1967 life is the fact that um, the old city of Jerusalem will no longer be on in the hands of the Jewish people. Now, uh, um, um, I've said in the past, you know that that um, the Palestinians, uh, from, since the beginning of the PLO, that their 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 primary tactic. Has always been resistance, and and they only engage in diplomacy when it advances their cause, and if, if no matter how, so if they have to take step by step the lands, like for example, they they carry Gaza, and what what do they do with it? They they use it as a launching pad against Israel, so. Little by little, they take land and until until they ultimately 
uh, push Israelis into the sea you know, you know and uh, I'm watching very closely uh, today is the first day today's Tuesdays September 20th and uh, I'm, I'm I'm gonna watch the, the Friday's event there's a there's a report that says that the 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 boat m most likely not occurred on Friday, uh, but um, I'm pretty watching, and um, the first the boat first has to get in, has to get through the Security Council, which is like the high-ranking members of the UN, before they go to the General Assembly to all the members of the UN. Uh, so, if if the 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 boat fails um, uh, the, to to um, pass the Security Council vote, then it goes up in flames. So hopefully um, um, that happens, and uh, it won't be placed in the General Assembly. Well, it will most likely have a greater majority of support um now I came I'm keeping my fingers crossed so um for the meantime let's keep this running our prayers let's and keep a watchful eye and uh, and hopefully um uh, um when there are updates I'm gonna be posting on Z blog um on on Facebook and also on our group Speak Out Israel we're gonna, we're gonna do, we you know, want to do more events and showing our support of Israel and hopefully you'll get those, that information. God bless you. Bye.